So today I'm gonna to be starting the first run of my fertility program. I'm only going to be able to get down my prodiamine today. Um, there's more to this first round that I'll be getting to uh, in a later date, but today I just need to get my prodiamine down because that's what I have time for. Um, and so today I'm just gonna show you how I do it. I'm not uh, very proficient at putting down pre-emergent just yet. This is only my second year doing it, so I still weigh it out prior to putting it in my spreader. And I'm gonna show you that process right here. So anytime I'm applying a fertilizer, herbicide, or fungicide to my lawn, I always like to make sure I'm wearing PPE, that's shoes, long pants, long sleeves, gloves, and in this particular case, I wanted to make sure I'm wearing a mask because I know dust can come out of the bag when I open it and pour it into the bucket or spreader. Um, this may not be the necessary for every product you put on the lawn, but it, it's just a good practice to get into. I'm always making sure you're wearing PPE when you're messing with things like this in the lawn. So the reason why I weigh out a product like prodiamine is because it can be over applied and I don't quite feel comfortable to be able to dump a portion of the bag into my hopper and then go spread it and know I'm putting it down at a specific rate. I just don't have that much experience applying herbicides and fertilizers uh, quite yet. So what I do to make it a little bit foolproof is weigh out the specific amount of product I need for that specific area of the lawn. So I know the products that I'm putting in my hopper or the amount of product I'm putting in my hopper is the exact amount of product that needs to go down in that area of the lawn, which helps me avoid over applying a product in my lawn. Just like any granular product, I always do a trim pass first around the entire area of the lawn that I'm working in, and then I finish the remainder of the yard in a grid pattern. This helps me to ensure I get an even application. So the spreader I'm using here is a Scott's Deluxe Edge Guard, and the setting I typically have for this application is a three. And I'm okay with that setting. It, it, it might be very slow for the product to come out, and I might have to go over the lawn two times to get the product all out of the hopper. But again, this just ensures to me that I'm getting an even application of across the entire lawn. 